It's a good one going on Christmas. Yeah. We did a, a one like that. I thought for 36 minutes we played really good basketball. You know, obviously, the start the second half wasn't what we wanted, but but we responded pretty well after the four start to the half. Season I and assists, we told our guys we wanted them to play for each other, get the ball moving, really make sure that they're playing on selfish basketball. I, I thought Estrada really read, led the way in doing that. You know, almost had a triple double with I think he had 12, 8, and 7. So I thought that was his best overall game. He's probably played here. He's had better scoring games, but just how he managed the floor, rebounded, you know. Seven assists, to two turnovers. That was great. You know, I Mark had five assists, and no turnovers. You know, not one of his better shooting nights by, by you know, for sure. But I thought, you know, both those guys are point guards, kind of got the ball moving, and I uh, took care of it. So happy with the win going into Christmas. Be nice after Christmas. We put 40 minutes together, but we'll take 36 uh, after the three game stretch we had. Start with Charlie. Hey, you mentioned those four minutes coming out of the hat. Just what was your message when you weren't pleased with the team? Yeah, I, I like we can't do this. Like, just, like we've been one of the best teams in the country for large parts of most games, and then we just have stretches where we just fall apart and lose everything we built up for 28, 32, 24 minutes, whatever it is. Like I said, our last four losses, we've all had a six point or better lead against four of the best teams and four top 10 teams in the country. And like our, our winning percentage at one point in the second half in all those games is over 75%. So we just, I, I, I'd like to see us come out with some fire, some leadership, make sure that we're coming out, the players are leading to make sure our intensity's there and it doesn't necessarily have to come from the coaching staff. So they, they figured it out. I, I, didn't think we had it out of, out of the second half. You know, didn't think we had it even after I got the tee, but then they eventually figured it out. Nick Kelly. Yeah, you were talking about Brown's defense yesterday and praising that, but then he had a really nice night offensively. Uh, what do you think of his efforts tonight and what, what he did, especially from uh, the deep? Uh, it was great. I thought, you know, he's been about the right stuff the whole year. He's been our best perimeter defender. Other team as a guy getting hot, you know, he always says, put me on him, I got him. You know, Moreno gets hot, he get the round, they give up the one three, I think it was Moreno's four three, you know, and Rylan screwed up that one, and then after that, we tried to put Rylan on him. You know, I, I thought he had a really good start to the second half, Moreno, and I thought we did a pretty good job after he kind of just told Rylan to quit switching, Rylan was going to just stay on him. And, Try to shut him down between him and Charlie. I thought they did a good job, but it was great to see Ryland, you know, have the ball drop. You know, we know how good he can shoot it. I think he's hasn't shot as well as he would have liked because we know how well he can shoot it. So that little stretch there in the first half, and we were opening things up, and he had a few straight. It was great to see him kind of get his confidence going there. How important was it for this team to have a good three point shooting day after the? Previous games where they just weren't falling. Yeah, I thought it was really important. I, you know, obviously Eastern Kentucky's three-point percentage defense hasn't been good, but you still have to make them. They're not layups. You have to make the shots. They're not guaranteed to go in, even if you're wide open. So I, th I thought it was good that we had the kind of shooting night we had. I thought it was good guys that maybe hadn't made a ton in the past, like Ryland. You know, Cosby and Ryland went. You know, what a combined nine of 15. It's nice those two guys who had been, you know, two of our better shooters maybe kind of got it going. Sam had another great shooting night, even if it was on low reps. I mean, look at the number of guys that shot 50% or better. It was Grant, who had struggled the last game, it was two or three. And Grant, Ryle, and White, so Sam, to have that many guys shoot at least 50% is nice. You got it. Teams can't just focus on Sears or just a Strider or, you know, Sam or whatever. We got a lot of other guys that can make threes too. In the middle of the time. Um, Damon Cosby played a really efficient uh, 19 minutes. Is there, is there a possibility that we see more of him down the stretch? Yeah, I mean, we've been, his, his issue hasn't been in shooting. We, we know he can shoot. 
his issues, but his defense, somebody hasn't been able to play as much. And, you know, I, I thought he's been working hard to get his defense better. He's got to continue to work hard. You know, that's what we tell these guys. Like, offensively, we've been the number one offense in the country for almost two months now, if, if not over. So we, we're not looking for guys to help our offense. That hasn't been the issue. Our offense has been good enough to beat everybody we play. It's defense has been the issue. So if, if you haven't proven yourself to be one of our better defenders in practice, you're probably not going to get a shot to play in the game. Davin's working hard. He's been giving an effort in practice. He's doing better. He obviously showed he can shoot it. We have a lot of guys that can shoot it. So again, who can separate themselves from the pack defensively? We've really only had one guy, in my opinion, do that. That's Rylan Griffin. So. That's why, despite some poor shooting performances out of him, his minutes stay pretty consistent because he's been our best perimeter defender. Anyone else? All right, thanks, Coach. All right, you guys have a good Christmas.